One of my viewers wanted a little bit more detail on how I bolt a, this 24 by 48 piece of plywood to my Workmate 425 so I can bolt down my drill press and my miter saw and my table saw. So that's what this video is all about. I'm going to go into detail in terms of the wing nuts and the washers and the bolts. So the first thing we need to look at are parts. So here's kind of a side view in uh, the center there. It's nothing more than a simple bolt, a wing nut, and then a washer. And then over here is the actual bolt itself. And you can see the part number there on both the bolt and the washer now. Notice this washer won't fall through because it's three quarters of an inch. And the actual dog hole is only 20 millimeters, so it's just slightly bigger. So whether I use the washer on the top or the bottom, it's just not going to come through. So. Let me set this up. Let me set up the next uh, illustration, and uh, I'll show you this to you in more detail. I've set the uh, 24 by 48 inch piece of plywood up on edge, so we can take a look at how I put the bolts in. So, there's the template for the different power tools. I just happen to put this in for S or saw. So you notice on this side, I have the thread part sticking out because that's going to be right where it attaches into the power tool. I'm not concerned about the threaded the excess threading on the bolt sticking up at this point. But for those uh, bolts I use to tie down to the bench, I want the threaded part below so nothing's sticking up and going to get in the way of the work that I'm doing on the top. So let's look at the back side of the bench. So first let's look at the bolt that's holding down the power tool. You notice what I've done is I've kind of sunk it. Why? Because I want it to be flush with the wood so it's not going to be rocking or scratching my bench or getting snagged on a dog hole. On the bolt that I use for the tying it down to the dog hole, uh, I've got this with the washer on this side. So again, I want the threaded part above for the power tool, and then I want the threaded part below uh, with the wing nut on it out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of any of my work. So let me go ahead and put this down onto the bench I'll turn the bench on edge so you can see it better. Now I have the piece of plywood bolted onto my workmate and I've got my workmate laying on its front edge. So right here you can see where I've got one bolt coming up through the plywood into the hole that would hold down the saw or hold the saw into place. And then I've got two bolts that are designed to go down through the dog holes with the washers and wing nuts on the other side. So let's look at this guy first. Come up here, as you can see, it's flush because I've countersunk that hole so the head is flush with the bottom side of this board. Whereas on these guys, they do pass through and you can begin to see the washers and the uh, wing nuts for both of those. So let's come around to the other side, take a closer look. And right here you can see the washer will not pass through the dog hole, which is only 22 millimeters, or excuse me, 20 millimeters, while the washer is three quarters and just a little bit bigger. And I've got the excess threading down to the bottom so it's not in the way. Okay? So back to this side again, I've got the thread sticking up on the one that would hold down the power tool, and then I've got these guys down. Uh, almost flush with the top so they don't get into the way. So I hope this answers your questions about attaching the plywood to your Workmate 425. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Just put them in the comments. I'm also going to put the other links related to this same concept, same concept into the description below. So that will give you a quick access to those. Um, if you found this video useful, please press like. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, good luck on your projects.